Hi, I'm Kat Shea, and this is Trailers from Hell. We're looking at a trailer for the Pom Pom Girls, a Crown International teen exploitation movie made by my friends Mark and Marilyn Tensor and directed by Joe Rubin. It stars Robert Carradine in one of his first ever roles and Rainbow Smith. This is the Pom Pom Girls. It stars Robert Carradine in one of his first ever starring roles. And it also stars a girl named Rainbow Smith. And I'll see if I can find her in the trailer. Is that her? That's her. Rainbow is spelled R-A-I-N-B-A-U-X, which I love. She was also known as Cheryl, and she seemed to have a knack for getting roles in really good B-movies. She had a really decent career as an actress in the 80s, and she was in quite a few bigger movies. And she also played drums with Joan Jett, but she ended up heroin addicted and homeless and living on the street and dying of hepatitis in 2002, which I think is really sad. What I love about Pom Pom Girls, though, is that it aspires to be something more than your average sexploitation movie. The characters had some depth, and I think you sense sort of an American graffiti sensibility to it. Mark and Marilyn Tensor were never into depth. They had a formula that brought them success, and they never deviated from it. But once in a while, a filmmaker would come along and manage to transcend the formula and turn out something really good. So I met Joe Rubin back then, and he was actually very rude to me. But I was introduced to him by Mark Tensor, who informed him that I was going to be starring in his next movie, and he didn't know me from Adam. But I was a writer at the time, and I wasn't interested really in being a cave girl anyway. Most directors, and almost all writers, have no idea what it's like to be in front of the camera. So I took every opportunity that came my way. And yeah, actually, if I were being honest, I would have loved to have been the cave girl but probably an actress got the part. <laughs> Joe didn't have to do the cave girl movie either. He got Dreamscape instead.